G'day fellas, how are you going there today? Are you going to uh, try something a bit different? This has come all the way from Kalgoorlie. Pack Horse Pale Ale. I'll right, give it a crack. Something. Uh... Ooh, oh, this is a lively one. How about that? Look at the head coming out of the top of the bottle. That's a real unusual one, isn't it? Jeez, I had a bang. It, that stung my chest when it hit my chest. <laughs> Wow, have a look at that. I haven't pulled one of them on this whole show. Oh, and that one's overdone it. You're kidding me. Gee, that's a lively beer, John, isn't it? Looks like oh. champagne. Does it look like champagne to you? Looks like a milkshake. Oh, that's unbelievable, yeah. Cheers, John. Cheers. Try this. This is definitely going to leave a white thing on my nose. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's got a nice flavour, hasn't it? That's a really nice, smooth ale, isn't it? That's that's lovely. Just a bit citrusy. Nice bit and hoppy. Citrusy. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a nice beer. Jesus, it's got a lot of... Um, Head, remember we were complaining. Yeah, you get on it, but you got past that soon enough. Well, I've been complaining about Aussie Could beers. Be colder. Well, you, we only just got it today, so it's only been in the fridge a little bit. But that's that's pretty amazing beer. Look at the head. That's one of the biggest heads we've had ever. One of the biggest I've seen. You tried to pour it straight, didn't you? Yeah, I angled it and everything, but you feel that <clears throat> when I opened it, the bottle top hit me in the uh, chest and it bloody stung. It popped so loud. I've never heard, heard one pop so loud in my life. Champagne, I It's like champagne. Wasn't it like champagne? The popping was. Yeah, and the head just definitely... Oof. You don't get a head like that on champagne. No, but it's when, you first, when you first pour it, you do. When it goes down, it's just the immediate, you know, immediate bubbles and froth, you know, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, this is different. You know, like, well, this is holding. Like, I've it's seen holding. milkshakes that have an elder as strong as that. No, that's lovely. That's, they've got their rack down pat there. They've got uh, something happening to get a decent head. I think uh, the brewers around Australia might have to look at Kalgoorlie and uh, have a look at what they're doing over there at Beaten Track Brewery. This is looking all right. Tastes beautiful, delicious. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, you know, I feel like chewing on a piece of uh, lemon or something to complement it. Or you know, with a slice of lemon, it might be real gross too. Oh, we might have started something new for them. Start selling it. I don't know if they do it in a small stubby, but um, maybe. Oh, have some more. Yeah, no, definitely. Maybe they can um, try and with the lemon in it. I reckon that'd go quite well with that, wouldn't it? A slice of lime or lemon. Lovely. It doesn't need it. Doesn't need it at all. But That's gorgeous. Look, I don't know. Can you can you see through that? I can't. No, it's got the uh, a real ale colour, isn't it? That's yeah. great. Yeah, so there's not much clarity in that. There's plenty of, tell you what it's not warm, it put plenty of body in it, you know. Like you almost see it swimming, can't you? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> lovely. Honestly. That is a gorgeous beer, and as you can see there's a bit of a residual little bit of head on the bottom of the glass. It's just held its head lovely. They've really got that down pat. Tell me why they know how to do things over there. It's pretty good. All right, Johnny, well, um, we got any stories about WA? Western Australia. Yeah, I climbed up the side of a motel in Perth one night yeah. after sitting on the pool after Pissed. working like six days straight, 10, 12 hour days. Yeah. Had an afternoon off. And I laid by the pool and drank and whatever. And then next minute I ended up climbing up six flights to get to this motel where I'm up the side of the building. Pretty crazy. But anyway, you do crazy things. Yeah. Oh, last time I was in Perth, uh, I went over a mate. You know, he, he rang me up in the morning. He, he said, I've, I've just 
just found a, you know, a, a, a one, 1 1.2 kilogram gold nugget. Beautiful. I said, oh, yeah, grouse, you know. So what are you going to do? He's going to sell it. I said, come to Melbourne. Come to Melbourne, we'll go to Perth. Which we did that afternoon. Perth Mint. Uh, the following morning. Yep. We, we walked into the Perth Mint. I made a few phone calls first. And, Done. You know, I spoke to the bloke and had a you know, contact and everything. And uh, he paid us 10% uh, uh, over gold rate. 10% over gold rate. That's because it was in a, um, That's a, a nugget. A nice shape too. Well, it was nice. He pointed out where it had been damaged by, you know, the pick when it was being, you know, dug out. You know. Like, he'd it, it, seen it before, but... Yeah. Um, I noticed that they did on-sell the, the unit. You know, they, they listed it as a, as a major item. Yeah. At the Mint, and they did on-sell it for for three times its, uh, you know, what, what they paid oh. us. And they were paying over, you know... Over gold rate already. They were paying over gold rate to us. So. Wow, so... There you go, fellas. Go out and look for the big nuggets. That might be the next big thing to be done. All right, we'll wrap this up. Thanks, Johnny. That was great. That's a great beer. Very nice. I really like that. All right. Cheers, fellas. Leave you with that.